Hello, in this video I'm going to comment on some footage I found of the Hyundai Kona Electric. So not the Ionic this time, but the Kona Electric. Um, the Kona is due out in the United States, I believe, later in 2018, and maybe even, according to the website, Electric from July in Norway, and perhaps some other selected markets. Um, it's going to be one of the first kind of moderately affordable, possibly still expensive, but moderately affordable electric cars with an over 200 mile range. Um, some parts of the world have already had the Chevy Bolt or the Ampera E. Um, not in the UK, we don't get that here, in right-hand drive. But it's going to be the kind of the first, um, you know, mainstream electric car with over 200 mile range that isn't a Tesla, which, you know, Teslas are too expensive for many people, myself included. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a Kona or, or, you know, afford one or get one whenever they come out in the UK. The availability might be limited, the price might be too high. But I've been thinking about it nevertheless. I've seen quite a bit of, um, of people talking about it on YouTube. And I happen to find some footage that seems to have been shot earlier this year, a kind of Hyundai electronic press kit footage that's in a few links um, around YouTube. I've put one in, in the description below. And as an Ionic driver, I seem to be able to find some things here that look like new features and some things that are current features, old features of the Hyundai Ionic range, and also some indications of things about range and efficiency. So I'm going to talk about these now quickly in this video. So it's going to be the range, efficiency, 10 apparent new features of the Hyundai Kona Electric, and five old features that you can also find on the current Hyundai Ionic range. Okay, so here we go. Range of the Kona. The range shown in the footage at one point is 265 miles, but that's not with a full battery. It's later shown as 276 or 277 miles, and that's at 59 Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius at a 75% state of charge of the battery. And it seems like the footage was shot in Irvine, California on February 22nd in the United States. So the footage does suggest that this is the, you know, the 64 kilowatt hour uh, battery version of the Kona, not the smaller one that I think will have somewhere closer to a kind of 40 kilowatt hour battery. Um, so it's the range topping one. Um, according to Electric again, Hyundai has stated that the WLTP range should be 482 kilometers, and that's just a smidge under 300 miles. So this, this footage does suggest that 300 miles should be achievable in, in some driving conditions. Kona having a worse efficiency than the Ionic. So the car in the footage has awful efficiency numbers showing at one point, uh, if you look very quickly in a freeze frame, um, way below what I'd get in my Hyundai Ionic Electric. Um, we see 1.5 to 4.4 miles only per kilowatt hour on this screen, for instance. The trip meter is shown at one point, and this might explain the terrible efficiency. It shows 2.3 miles per kilowatt hour over a 36.7 mile trip, but this is over 5 hours and 54 minutes. So. Um, I don't know what was going on there, but I suspect that the um, I suspect that the car has been used in some unusual way because of the filming, perhaps left on with the you know the AC running and not actually driving or something that's that dragged the efficiency down. The Kona, of course, will be heavier and less aerodynamic than I an Ionic. It's a kind of compact SUV crossover something um, model, whereas the Ionic is this you know lift back sort of sleek shape. Um, but hopefully, efficiency better than that will actually be possible in the Kona Electric when it comes out. So now we move on to um, new features that this footage seems to show will be in the Kona Electric. New feature one, driving style info. So the first new Kona feature suggested by this particular footage is a breakdown of the driving style info um, into economical, normal, and aggressive. And we see there's been 30% aggressive driving in this uh, particular video clip, and that might again explain the low efficiency numbers. A second new Kona feature is the cumulative info on electricity use, which again, the Ionic doesn't have this. It seems to track what proportion of your drive time has gone on drivetrain, climate, and electronics. Um, again, it seems this test car has been left on a long time because um, you know it's not the driving that's, that's got the main usage so that could again be responsible for the lower efficiency. A third new Kona feature shown is the Eco Plus mode, seemingly available according to this screen grab by holding the Drive mode button down, but I don't know what this feature might be. It might, uh, might be um, some other way to boost the efficiency a bit. A fourth new Kona feature is that the Ionic's normal mode, the kind of middle mode, drive mode in the Ionic, it seems to be renamed as the comfort mode for some reason, or maybe that's just the standard US name for it, I'm not sure. I've got no idea whether anything else has changed with the change of name here. Um, you can also see in the footage that the drive modes show up more prominently on the infotainment screen now, and they do predict different ranges per driving mode. Each mode still seems to be customizable, like my Ionic. You can see that in the screen here. It's the same kind of Ionic style. Um, adjustments of, you know, climate and other uh, speed limits and things like that. 
A fifth new Kona feature, and one that I think should be very useful actually, is the ability to set AC and DC charge limits when you're charging. This is very useful to look after the car's battery if you're buying it instead of leasing it and you want to keep the, the battery uh, lasting a long time by not charging to 100% every time you charge, either on a rapid charger or you know at home on AC. Um, this is possible, of course, in Teslas. Um, you see Tesla drivers setting a charge limit as daily or trip and, and limiting it well below 100% or whatever they want. And you could set it at 80% in some earlier Nissan Leafs, like my old 24 kilowatt hour one, but I'm, I'm not sure if you can still do that anymore. I can't do this in my Ionic. Um, I basically time it when it's going to um, stop charging and I go out and actually unplug it before it gets you know, above 80% or something or 90% or whatever I need to try and keep the battery in good health by not charging it to 100% and leaving it sat there all the time. A sixth new kind of feature is a driver attention warning um, shown here in the dash. This seems to be a timer after the driver last took a break. I, I don't know how that's going to work, but it's interesting that it's there. A seventh new feature is a heads up display. This seems to be activated. It pops up when you press a button se seemingly below the steering wheel. Um, and the buttons next to this are, you know, the current Ionic features of blind spot warning, um, charge port locking mode, and the lane keeping assist system. They still seem to be there. Here's a picture of the HUD, and now one with the speed showing on it to sort of show what it'll show you. And here's a picture of it showing inside the car from the great YouTube channel Autogafool, and um, this link below as well. And this shows you how the inside of the car will look with the head up display sort of popped up. An eighth new feature that seems to be there is EV route planning in the sat nav screen. Um, no idea what this might do. Maybe it'll help you, you know, route your journey via charges to get to your destination. A ninth new Kona feature shown is winter mode. So um, I think the Ionic sort of does something like this automatically. When you plug in, it can warm the battery up to charge faster. Um, but this seems to be something separate and more sort of Tesla-esque as a feature where it will actually actively heat up the battery pack in cold weather to increase range and to improve charging speed. So you're not charging on a cold pack. Uh, but it uses some energy obviously from the pack to do this so you'll get some sort of loss but it might be better than if you were just driving it in the cold without it being heated up and finally a tenth new feature shown in the video seems to be some kind of air vent uh, in the boot or the trunk of the kona this might be venting the ac is it to keep the cargo cooled is it something to do with you know a sort of exhaust of the active um, thermal management of the battery for now i don't know and then the Kona seems to retain some features from the current Ionic models. So, you know, calling these old features. So old feature number one is that there's a button-based shifter for the gears. And the transmission, again, is a drive-by wire shifter button system. It's a different style and slightly different layout to the Ionic, but it looks otherwise identical. Another old feature seems to be that there's still the Ionic's heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, auto hold function, and uh, parking sensors that you can switch on if they haven't activated by going into reverse. A third old feature kept from the Ionic range seems to be the up and down paddles to adjust regen on the go. So again, these look like they're four level ones from level three to level two to level one or to level zero, which is coasting, um, which helps with hypermiling. A fourth old feature seems to be that the Kona still has the lane keeping assist system with the same or very similar graphics to what you'll see in the Ionic. Will the actual system itself be updated or improved, more accurate, more usable? Uh, we don't know for now. And then a fifth and final old feature that I could see from this particular footage was that the Kona will also have a wireless phone charger. The, the location and placing of the pads a bit different, but it's, it's still there and it's a useful thing to have, so that looks great. So I think that's everything. If you know anything else about the upcoming Hyundai Kona Electric, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and bye now.